Hi guys, welcome to my latest Tech Trend channel. Qualcomm recently unveiled three new processors Snapdragon 730, 730G, 665 on AIDA in San Francisco. These new chipsets represent updates to Qualcomm mid range and upper mid range lineup in 600 and 700 series. But all of a sudden, a new 5G supported processor in the mid range popped up from Qualcomm. Yes, you heard it right. There are strong rumors and leaks are coming from the reliable source that Qualcomm is working on 5G mid-range chip, the Snapdragon 735. Yes, the Snapdragon 735 is the first mid-range processor to support 5G. The dawn of 5G is almost here. We saw earlier Snapdragon 855 is the only flagship processor from Qualcomm which supports 5G. With the latest leaks and rumors suggest that in near future we may see mid-range 5G phones as well with this rumored Snapdragon 735 processor. The Snapdragon 735 has unique features that no other mid-range processor has. Let's see how the new latest powerful Snapdragon 730G is tack up with this rumored Snapdragon 735 processor. Without any further delay, let's get started. Coming to the first and foremost important aspect is the CPU. CPU plays an important role in smartphone performance. Based on the CPU, one can decide the snappiness of a smartphone. Let's see what this process offers in terms of CPU. The Snapdragon 730 has two powerful Cryo 470 cores which are based on ARM Cortex A76 architecture, clocked at 2.2 GHz, and six power efficient Cryo 470 cores which are based on ARM Cortex A55, clocked at 1.8 GHz. On the other hand, the Snapdragon 735 processor has entirely different core combination setup, OnePlus OnePlus 6. The CPU of Snapdragon 735 consists of one powerful cryo core which is based on ARM Cortex A76, clocked at 2.9 GHz, and another one powerful cryo core which is based on ARM Cortex A76, clocked at 2.4 GHz, and six power efficient cryo cores which are based on ARM Cortex A55, clocked at 1.8 GHz. Both these processor CPUs are good. Samsung recently launched its Galaxy A80 smartphone with the Snapdragon 730G processor. This processor is really smooth and snappy. On paper, Snapdragon 735 CPU specs are quite impressive as per my assumptions. Need to wait and see how this processor CPU performs in the real world and which smartphone will feature the Snapdragon 735 processor first. Coming to the second important aspect is the GPU. Everyone loves playing games. Gaming become craze among all sorts of people across the globe. Companies are spending billions of dollars to enhance gaming experience. Graphics processing units play an important role in gameplay. Adreno GPUs are well known for game optimizations like GPU Turbo technology in Huawei phones. I have already made a dedicated video on this technology. In that video, I have explained how companies optimize their GPU to enhance gaming experience. If you are interested, you can check the course or description for the video link. Let's see what this process offers in terms of GPU. The name of Snapdragon 730G process suggests that G stands for gaming. As expected, Qualcomm incorporated the Arduino 618 GPU, which is the same GPU in Snapdragon 730, but a overclocked version of it. Qualcomm claims that this GPU is 25% faster graphics rendering as compared to its previous generation processors. And moreover, this GPU also features Elite Gaming. I have already explained in Snapdragon 855 video what Elite Gaming means. If you are interested, you can check the cards or description for the video link. The Snapdragon 730G GPU is really powerful. On the other hand, Snapdragon 735 has Arduino 620 GPU. On paper, this GPU is powerful than Snapdragon 736 Arduino 618 GPU. But we need to wait and see how powerful this GPU is when this processor based smartphone comes to market. In terms of GPU, on paper Snapdragon 735 edges the Snapdragon 730G processor. Third aspect is the connectivity. This is the highlighting and interesting aspect of all. Modem is the key component in all our smartphones to fulfill our data needs. It processes and organizes the incoming data and outgoing data from different sources like Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi, mobile data, etc. Let's see what this modem supports in terms of connectivity. The Snapdragon 730G modem supports Category 15 and 13, which supports downloading and uploading speeds at 800 and 150 Mbps respectively. 
and also this process modem supports Bluetooth 5.4, GPS Wi-Fi 6 support. Yes, this process features Wi-Fi 6. I have already made a dedicated video on Wi-Fi 6. If you are interested, you can check the description for the video link. On the other hand, Snapdragon 735 modem supports 5G. Yes, this is the only mid-range processor that supports 5G along with 4G. In future, we can expect all 5G mid-range phones feature this processor, probably in late 2019 or early 2020. Let's see which smartphone brand will bring 5G phones first in the mid-range. Another aspect is the artificial intelligence. AI become a must feature in every smartphone coming nowadays. This AI processing can be mainly in two areas, which are camera and battery saving techniques. This AI power is used in camera for scene and object detections and low light photography. And also this AI helps to optimize the display settings and app management based on our usage. This will help to conserve power in our smartphones. In terms of AI, Snapdragon 730G consists of Hexagon 688 DSP, which is a beast in terms of AI. The AI performance score for Snapdragon 730G is 1240 GMAX. GMAX is a DSP performance measure unit which stands for Giga Multiply Accumulates Per Second. Qualcomm claims that Snapdragon 730G AI performance is twice as compared to previous generation processors. On the other hand, in Snapdragon 735, Qualcomm claims that it has NP220 clocked at 1 GHz, though the hexagon DSP version is unknown in this processor. It's quite sure that AI performance numbers are greater than Snapdragon 730G processor. The image signal processing. Qualcomm uses Spectra 350 ISP in Snapdragon 730G, which offers single 36 megapixel camera and dual 22 megapixel cameras. It's worth mentioning that this new processor supports 48 megapixel and 192 megapixel snapshot. Qualcomm recently added this 192 megapixel support to all upper mid range and flagship category processors. In video department, Snapdragon 730G processor ISP supports 4K at 30 frames per second. And moreover, this processor ISP supports advanced features like video portrait at 4K, HDR video capture support, computer vision processing, etc. On the other side, though Snapdragon 735 ISP is same as Snapdragon 730G ISP, the Spectra 350, but this is a little downgrade version of it, which supports a single 32 megapixel camera or dual 20 megapixel cameras. This can also support for 48 megapixel or 192 megapixel snapshot. In video department, it supports 4K at 60 frames per second. It's unknown that if this process supports video bokeh, computer vision processing, HDR video capturing capabilities, etc. Once this process gets officially launched, need to see if this process ISP take down Snapdragon 730G ISP. Display support. Both process supports HDR10 display which can support a resolution up to Quad HD. In terms of display, it's a tie. RAM and storage. RAM and storage play an important role in device performance. People generally think that if CPU and GPU are powerful, then our device performs good. But it's not entirely true. It doesn't matter how fast your CPU or GPU is if RAM and storage takes forever to find the data you need to process. I have already made a dedicated video on RAM and storage technologies like LPDDR5 RAM and UFS 3.4 storage technologies. In that video, I have explained how much RAM and storage technologies impact our smartphone performance. If you are interested, you can check the cards or description for the video links. In terms of RAM, Snapdragon 730G supports dual channel LPDDR4X RAM, which supports 8 GB of RAM and clocked at 1.8 GHz. And in terms of storage, it supports UFS 2.1. On the other hand, Snapdragon 735 also features dual channel LPDDR4X RAM, which supports 16 GB of RAM clocked at 2.1 GHz. In terms of storage, it supports first generation UFS 3.1, which offers data rates up to 3 to 4 times the previous generations. If you observe RAM and storage, there is a huge upgrade. This is due to the 5G support. In order to process 5G speeds, RAM and storage must be fast enough to process the incoming and outgoing data set. GBPS speeds. The final aspect is the fabrication process. The Snapdragon 730G comes with 8 nanometer fabrication process, whereas Snapdragon 735 goes with latest 7 nanometer process. In terms of energy efficiency, Snapdragon 735 edges Snapdragon 730G. In overall, both processes are powerful, which offers flagship features at mid range. But Snapdragon 735 has its unique features like 5G support, powerful CPU and GPU, 
and superior RAM and storage technologies make it unique and stand out of all mid-range processors, at least on paper. Let's see which smartphone brand will bring this 5G supported processor first. What do you guys say? Which smartphone brand do you think will bring this processor first? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. That's it for now in this video. Hope you find this video informative. If you like this video, like it, share it and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in my next video. Have a nice day guys. Take care.